Hey guys, welcome back to the Jones Zone. Uh, today I want to share with you a few videos that I think are, um, well, many people call paranormal. And I think they are. And in these videos, you have uh, some objects that are just floating in, in the sky, in the air, defying physics. So, um, let's take a look. Why is this plane stuck in the air? <laughs> the explanation here is pretty easy. This plane is just stopped at a stoplight. I'm just stroking your chain, guys. I'm a regular Matt Rife. All jokes aside, though, this person was recording while they were driving down the highway because this plane appeared like it wasn't moving. Even when they drove directly underneath the plane, it still appeared as though it wasn't moving. Because of this strange phenomenon, many people in the comments were very confused as to what was going on, and a lot of them had their own explanations. Some people were saying that this was most likely just a very large balloon. Other people were saying this was Project Bluebeam or something like that. But the real explanation here is far more simple. This can be explained by something known as the parallax effect. In this diagram here, imagine that you're at position B looking at the plane, which is on this red square. The entire time you're driving from position B to position A, and the plane is moving the opposite direction from the red square to the blue square. If you guys are both moving at the proper speeds and you rotate like this, everything that is between you and the plane is going to appear in the same exact spot. This means that you get this very strange optical illusion where this object that's supposed to be moving hundreds of miles per hour appears still. But in reality, all it has to do with is the relative speed and the objects in between that make it look like it's not moving. Okay, now did you guys just see that? That plane sitting there floating in midair like that, it wasn't moving at all. All right, and this, this is happening as plain as day, and then this guy is sitting here and he tries to come up with a scientific, a scientific explanation as to why this is happening. Interesting. Um, there are other videos just like it. Uh, here's the next one. Okay, so you guys see that? The plane is stuck in the air, and it is not moving at all. Alright, so I don't know how long this plane was there, but from what I can guess, it I, who knows? It could have been there for half an hour, maybe an hour, maybe for all we know. It's just sitting there and it's not moving. I, I've never seen anything like this before, like with a with a with a plane. Now I see things like this happening with animals all the time, like in this uh, next video that I'm going to show you. Take a look here. That's a dead bird, and it's just floating in there. No strings, no nothing. Okay, now in this one, you can see that what appears to be a crow or something like that. It's a really big bird. And it's just floating there like that. But there's a slight swaying to it. I'm not sure if that's the wind or something like that. But what was implied, if you watch the full video, is that there's some kind of, they think the, the scientific explanation would be they think there's some kind of wire, a fish line or something like that, that's holding it. I don't know, but even if that is the case, you, you should be able to look at the at where it's tied to if it's like tied on the trees and you should be able to see it bending that that should match or correspond with the weight of the bird there's nothing like that as you can see here but anyways okay and so what you have are people who are saying that like this is a glitch or something like that in the matrix and I don't think that's a glitch in the matrix or anything like that because if we if we lived in some kind of simulation right then what would our simulation be based upon? What would be the true reality that would have birthed this simulation? Or would you call her that's making the simulation? And then what's to say that that reality that's making the simulation is under a, a, a simulation too? And then that one and then so on and so forth. And this could just go on for infinity. And it just it wouldn't really make, it doesn't make any sense. So therefore, it would seem to me that um, to stand a reason that there is no simulation that's going on. Rather, we actually do live in reality, and there's a higher reality that is a spiritual reality that is also running at the same time, and the spiritual reality is governing 
this reality is what's happening. And it's all the laws and everything that that um, that are going on are controlled, you know, um, or dominated by physical reality or spiritual reality, God. So that's uh, pretty much all I have to say, guys. I just, you know, um, hope this maybe helps or something like that. Gives you a little more insight in these kind of things. And uh, hopefully a stimulated thought. Uh, stay blessed.